Hi there, my name is Vaidatas and in this video I'll walk you through the steps to change a WordPress theme. It's no secret that website visitors can quickly judge a brand's credibility based on the company website's design. That makes it important to create a visually appealing site from the get-go. Fortunately, changing a WordPress site appearance is as simple as installing a theme. You can find numerous free and premium WordPress themes in the official directory or other marketplaces. Of course, you can opt for a free WordPress theme if you're just building a website for yourself. In fact, there are plenty of nice looking theme options to design your website. As your site grows, you can change your site with a theme built specifically for speed and further customization options. Before changing your WordPress theme, don't forget to save important data from the previous one. Let's go over the list of them. First off, code snippets. These snippets encompass any code not directly associated with your plugins or the core WordPress software. You can opt for a code snippet plugin to manage your snippets, which helps maintain an organized record of your existing code. Second, Google Analytics tracking code. This practice is particularly important if you've added Google Analytics code to the current theme. Otherwise, you won't be able to track your site's performance after changing a WordPress theme. Third, sidebar and widget content. Each theme offers unique sidebar and widget areas, meaning that switching your WordPress theme can impact their visibility and positioning. This step includes making notes of any custom code previously added to these areas. Fourth, website backup file. You need to backup your entire site before changing your theme. However, you can skip this step if you're using something like a staging environment. Once everything's saved, let's change your WordPress theme. Putting WordPress into maintenance mode tells site visitors that the website is currently unavailable due to ongoing maintenance. This status helps preserve your brand's reliability during the transition, especially if the changes make some features inaccessible. The easiest way to do this is using a plugin like WordPress Maintenance Mode or Landing Page Builder. You can also make a maintenance mode page by enabling maintenance mode from your web host control panel. These methods do not require writing a single line of code. Better yet, you could benefit from the WordPress staging feature if you bought Hostinger's business web hosting or a higher tier plan. A staging environment acts as a copy of your site where you can test changes without affecting the live site. Access your WordPress staging area by going to HPanel, selecting WordPress and clicking Staging. You can download themes from the official WordPress directory or buying a premium theme from other marketplaces. Generally, to install a premium theme, you'll need to perform several guided steps as shown by the developer. This time, I'll just demonstrate a theme installation from the WordPress directory. So, from the WordPress dashboard, you'll just need to navigate to Appearance and then go to Themes. Click Add New and find your theme of choosing using this search function. Another way to narrow down your options is by using the Feature Filter function. Specify your criteria here, then press Apply Filters. Finally, hover over your desired theme and select Install. Once the installation is complete, you'll see Live Preview and Activate buttons if you hover over the theme. Clicking Live Preview will open the theme in the WordPress Customizer, letting you see how the website will look. To use the theme right away, select Activate. Since your new theme will be completely clean regarding modifications, you must restore all the previous data, custom code, and settings from the last theme. First, you should tackle custom code. Ensure to add former code snippets, theme-specific shortcodes, tracking codes, and other types of content. Keep in mind that the sidebar's overall layout might have changed, so check and readjust the positioning of widgets accordingly. The second thing to check out is your pages. Check and readjust the layout and formatting of the widget areas across your WordPress site. Third, favicon. Make sure your site's favicon is working properly. Otherwise, re-add it via the WordPress customizer. Fourth, schema markup. The theme transition shouldn't affect the schema markup if you use the plugin to add and manage structured data. If not, you'll need to reconfigure your new theme manually. Fifth, plugins. Since some themes come with pre-installed plugins and theme-specific features, ensure they don't clash with your existing plugins. Sixth, website content. Changing WordPress themes shouldn't affect the site's existing content, but you should still make sure everything is in the right place. And lastly, cache. Open your WordPress website using different web browsers and clear their cache. Doing so will flush any static files of the site before the theme change, ensuring an excellent user experience once it goes live. 
If you've tested the new WordPress theme using the staging tool, don't forget to copy the staging site to the main website and then make it live. You can check our video for further guidance on customizing themes after activating them. You'll find the link in the description below. And that's how simple it is to change a WordPress theme. What is your favorite WordPress theme? Leave us your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and share this video if you found it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more helpful videos like this. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your online journey.